Okay, and then, so, tapos na natin yung N. So, yung R naman po yung kukunin natin. So, okay, try natin to. Okay, so, ayan. So, dito na tayo sa finding R naman. So, in finding R, meron tayong uh, ano, uh, four, uh, three step in finding R. Okay? So, isa na natin. Okay, so, in in finding R, unang-una, get the ano, prime number of the combination. So, this one. So, kunin natin yung prime combination po niya. So, ang 10 is... Uh, we have 5 times 2. Okay? Tapos, pag nakuha na natin yung prime uh, factor ng combination, kuhin natin yung pinakamaliit. So, yung pinakamaliit na number na <coughs> doon sa ating prime factor is ito yung possible value ni R. Okay? Which is R natin will be 2. Okay? And then, uh, kasi uh, dalawa yung magiging sagot niya. Okay, para makuha natin yung pangalawang sagot is kailangan nating i-subtract si si n, 'di ba? Ang n natin ay 5. So minus 2, so that is r is 3. So ito yung dalawang possible na sagot para kay r natin. Okay? So uh, paano kapag ano uh, lagyan natin ng ano, i-check natin. So, if uh, we have, so, sabi nga, ang n natin dito ay 5. Okay. So, we have 5 factorial all over uh, 5 minus 2. 2 muna kinuha ko, ha. And then, times 2, uh, my, 5 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Kailangan daw, yan ay 10. Okay, check lang po natin. Okay. So, we have 5 factorial, 5 minus 3, so this is, ah, 5 minus 2 is 3, and then times 2 factorial, siya ba ay equal kay 10. Okay? So, pag in-expand natin to, we have 5 times 4 times 3 factorial, so, para makancel na natin si 3 factorial. So, yan. So, may iwan, 5 times 4 is uh, 20, and then divide by 2. So, sabi nga, ito ba ay mag equal kay 10? So, this is equal kay 10. Okay? And then, kapag kay 3 naman, if R natin is 3, so, lagay natin ganyan. If R naman natin ay 3, uh, we have 5 factorial all over 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Is this equal to 10? Okay? So, we have 5 factorial all over. So, this is 2 factorial times 3 factorial is this equal to 10. So, the same din, di ba? Sa baba, sa denominator. Kasi, ano siya, as, uh, meron siyang symmetry. Okay? So, kung itutuloy natin to, so, we have, so, maka-cancel din natin tong uh, 3 factorial. So, ayan. Okay? And then, may iwan pa rin si 2 factorial. So, the same pa rin po. So, ang lalabas is 10 is equal to 10. Okay? So, ulitin lang natin, ha? <coughs> Una, kukunin natin is yung prime factor ni uh, combination. Yung ano niya. Okay. So, dahil 10, uh, 5 minus 2. Okay. So, that is 10. So, kukunin natin yung smallest prime factor. So, that is 2. And then, subtract natin kay n. So, that are possible values po. So, para ma-check natin kung tama, so, substitute natin doon sa formula. Okay. Uh, sir, paano naman po kapag ano, malaki yung number, uh, baka mahihirapan kami mag-factor. Kung nahihirapan kayo mag-factor, uh, for example, uh, lagyan natin number 2. So, we have, so, nawawala. Uh, ayan, so, 120. Siguro kayo naman siguro nyo i-factor yung 120. Pero kung nahihirapan kayong mag-factor ng 120, so, another way is, uh, kuha tayo ng isang ano uh, kunin natin si 10 and then uh, multiply natin sa lower number so kailangan ay i-divide natin kay ano kay 120 okay so ganito para makuha kagad natin si r so kung ayaw niyo mag prime factor you can use this so 10 
So, 10 times 9 is uh, 90. So, pag dinibide natin kayo 120 ay hindi pwede. Kasi ang kailangan, ang denominator natin, kasi ang denominator natin is 120. And then, yung, yung ito is yung ating numerator. So, dagdagan pa natin. So, times 8. So, ilan na ito ba ito? So, calculator. So, we have uh, 10 times 9 times 8. So, that is 720. So, pwede na. Ayan. Okay? So, divide lang po natin to. <clears throat> so, 720 divide by 120. So, this is divide by 120. 6. Ayan. Okay? So, ang uh, yung 6, uh, hanapin natin yung factorial niya. Okay? Uh, this is equal to uh, 3 times 2 times 1. Di po ba? So, ibig sabihin, si 6 ay uh, 3 factorial. Okay? So, ayan. So, yung R natin is uh, 3. Okay? And then, uh, para makuha pa natin yung pangalawa, uh, sabi nga, susubtract natin dito kay 10. Okay? So, 10 minus 3. So, we have 7. So, these are all possible uh, val, uh, value for R. So, check natin kung kung po pwede po siyang maging R kay number 2. So, check natin ha. So, we have uh, 10 factorial all over uh, 10 minus 3 factorial times 3. So, kailangan daw ay 120. Is this 120? Okay. Now, <clears throat> so this is 10 factorial all over 7 factorial times 3 factorial. Okay, kung wapansin po ninyo, kung uh, sa substitute natin yung sa kabila, so we have here 10 factorial all over uh, 10 minus 7. Okay, 10 minus 7 factorial times 7 factorial. So this is also 10 factorial all over 3 factorial times 7 factorial. ba Nagiging parehas po sila. Okay? So, uh, tingnan natin kung magiging 120 po. So, hanggang 7 po siya. So, meron tayong 10 times 8 times 7 na lang po siya. Ay, times. Ayan. Uh, 9 pala to. Sorry. Ayan. Masyadong nagmamadali. Okay? So, we have 9 times 8. So, ayan. Okay, so maka-cancel na natin si 7 factorial, so may iiwan si 3 factorial. Tingnan nga natin kung magiging 120 to. Okay, so calculator. So we have 10 times 9 times 8. And then divide by, so 3 factorial is 6. So we have 120. So this is 120. So tama po. So kung tama ito, so magiging tama naman po yung sa kabilang side. So our value for r is uh, 3 and then 7. So ayan po. So sana po meron pong natutunan para sa sa topic na ito. So maraming salamat and then mag-aral po kayong mabuti.